welcome to episode 27 of the Adornit podcast. I'm your host, Steph, also known as the Ninny Samurai and Adornit Steph. Shine on, you crazy diamond. <laughs> How are you doing? It is a beautiful Monday here in um, New Hampshire <laughs> at my house. <laughs> so we face this way. We face that way. Now we're facing... I just keep turning you. Next time, maybe we'll go that way. <laughs> Keeps it interesting, right? So, today's show is going to have um, a prize drawing, a finished object, whips, um, additions, dream knitting, and craft along updates. And perhaps a shop update, but most likely not. I, I need to just say it every week, and if it happens, it happens, and yay! And if it doesn't, it doesn't. So, okay, let's get into the uh, prize drawing. So this is sponsored by um, my Etsy shop, which is adornit.etsy.com. If you post pictures on Instagram tagging us of your stitch markers or progress keepers on your project, on your work in progress, you're entered to win a $10 gift certificate. So we had 63 entries for the month of, what month was it? March. <laughs> And number 41 won. Yay! Winter chow. So I just want to say thank you for participating in that. All right. Now moving on to finished objects. I can guarantee you did not see this coming. <laughs> so last week I showed you that I was, or maybe you did. Maybe you're just more on it than I am. I showed you this sock. This is... Um, yarn world sorry the guys are home and talking and i can hear tristan so it's life now <laughs> um antarctic is the yarn base from world of yarn very inexpensive yarn i think i want to say it was 13 14 dollars um a skein it's definitely a workhorse yarn similar to a croy i knit this on size zero so my fabric's pretty dense I did my standard Wendy Johnson heel that I like to put on everything. And then I decided to make it, to make them shorties. So that was sock number two was finished off last week. What? Yeah. So happy to have these done. Um, I've already worn them. Shh, don't tell. Don't tell the viewers. But yes, I have already worn them and they're great. They're great for summer and spring. I hope that's not too loud. <laughs> I also can't seem to focus on okay. you. I turned you around because my eyes naturally want to focus over there, not over there. So this way I'm looking more at you. That's okay. my finished object for the week. So whips, whipping. I made loads of progress. This is one of our, one of the Adornit bucket bags. I don't remember what we call them. Carry-all, I think, with all the pockets on the outside. Perfect for your cell phone and your keys. Three pockets on each side. This is mine. Mine's well-worn. <laughs> it goes, I use it like a purse a lot of the time. It's good for at bars. So in here are my Desert Fisted Eye Work socks for the month. So we picked this out. It is the Jaws colorway, which someone commented that it's a, um, it's a fitting color for the time since it does kind of red white and blue so I like it I did contrasting toes and cuffs and the pattern is the vanilla bean pattern by Emily O'Grady and I think it's O'Grady I'm pretty sure 99 percent sure on that so I'm gonna do a true afterthought heel on this and it's a really fun pattern, although you kind of have to pay a little bit of attention because when you switch colors, that's when you do the slipping of the stitches. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. And um, I had to think back a few times when I missed it. And you know what else I missed? I wanted them to be afterthought. So obviously the foot, I don't need to slip stitches on the foot. It puts extra tension on the yarn and I don't need to do that. But I could have slipped them on the back of the leg totally missed that so I really like this color and I like the contrast 
not really contrast because it's pretty close to that red. This red's a little teensy bit brighter, but they're both um, Desert Vista Dye Works. So these are my socks for the month of April. And I am at this point. So should have no problem finishing. I, I, am, I try to knit five stripes a day. That's my little goal for myself to keep me on track for the month. And because if it left my own devices, all I would knit on is the love note. And so I do need to get these done and out of the way. And then the rest of the month, I can just focus on my sweater. So they're beautiful. They're fun. Love them. And as always, knit on size zero, two millimeter needle. So. <laughs> all right. The next work in progress have to share with you is the In Light of Luna Cowl by Crazy Sock Lady. So this had been dream knitting and it's on the needles and here it goes. So I made that much progress since last time. I am doing, I am, so this is the back of my work. Look how good that looks. Look how clean. I am just dropping one yarn and picking up the other. No twisting. I've twisted yarns for 10 years or something and always had the back be the back because it had a, a jag in it and this is just it's awesome drop it and go drop it and go so love it love the pattern so far I did flip the waves so the pattern would have the waves going the same direction you see but I wanted the green to be different I just wanted it to be a little different I love the phases of the moon it's great. I am into the ribbing. I am about one inch from being done and casting off. So I want to give it a good block, stretch it pretty well because um, Kay, Kay's version is very drapey on her and I want to make sure mine is too. And those floats are nice and loose. So I should be able to get quite a bit because for a cowl like this, the point is not the length of it. It's, it's more the width. So, but I think it's really pretty. Does it remind you a little bit of like those ancient Greek paintings on vases and stuff. It didn't, the pattern doesn't remind me of that, but my knitting of it does. <laughs> my color combo. I don't know why, but. The yarn is Knit Picks Stroll. No, Glimmer. Glimmer like on Shira. <laughs> New episodes coming in May. <laughs> but yeah, and I'm knitting on size do we know? We don't know. It's a surprise. Well, threes, fours, something like that. So it's very nice. And it's riding in one of my fat squirrel bags. She does a great job. Okay, best for last. I got my yarn. So if you recall, I'm using one strand of mohair and then alternating a speckled green fingering weight yarn and a solid green fingering weight yarn and I was running out of the solid because I wanted to make sure that I have enough for the speckle to last. So I received a second skein. I bought it. I didn't receive that. I bought a second skein from Webbs. So 10 years apart I want to say and looks pretty darn close to me. So that's great. I did do the every other row kind of fading it when I did switch to just using this just in case. But um, let's see. So there's lots going on here. Sweater is the Love Note by Tin Can Knits. Did I say that? It's so much fun. So I did add shoulder shaping. I said that last time. Back neck shaping. Oh, there goes my project bag. <laughs> okay now we got plenty of yarn so I got an extra oh this is the way I need to show you okay so going down the body I was here last time we spoke and I knit another five inches I don't want to say and I love how the speckles just show through so sometimes I'm doing the speckled yarn every row, every other row, or sometimes I'm doing it every third row. Um, and so I got to this point and, and the body I think is like eight, nine inches long. And so I'm getting close to that. What am I at? Don't mind me. Okay. 
So I'm at six and then almost seven, six and a half inches. And I felt like, you know how you get, it's not going anywhere. I don't have sleeve island. I have like body island for the last four or five inches. And this will have a dropped front hem and a dropped back hem. So it's just a little higher on the sides. I didn't explain that very well last week um, or last time, but that's my plan for this. So I'm getting close to the point where I need to start working that, um, but I wanted to get the sleeves going and make sure that they were gonna fit. Here, we'll do a little try on. So I altered all these strings. <laughs> It doesn't bother me when I'm knitting. I'm fine with it. But so I did alter the um, sleeve. <laughs> I did alter the sleeve decreases. So rather than um, what was called for in the pattern, which I like my sleeves a little snugger than that, I used the um, Amy Hartzog Craftsy class knit to flatter, fit to flatter, whatever it was. I, I took that class, I want to say five, six years ago, and I rarely knit a sweater without referencing what I learned in that class. So um, I took her method of calculating what your arm decreases should be based on your gauge and the length of your sleeve that you want. You know, so I figured out what I wanted the bottom circumference to be, what my gauge was, and then worked backwards to the number of decreases. So I figured I needed to decrease every fourth row, round. Yes, every fourth round. So it does fit nice and snug. It's not too tight, there's plenty of room, but it's, I'm also not wasting yarn on a big sleeve, which is part of the reason why I like sleeves fitted, to be honest. Um, so when I'm done with this sleeve, I'll pop over, do the other sleeve, do the collar, and then whatever's left goes into the bob. That's the plan. Um, and I might even, weigh it and break it into halves just so that I know I have an, the same amount of the speckle and the solid for both sides because I can just see myself running out of the speckle and then the sweater being solid in the bottom third it would be weird so I don't want that to happen oh my god Tristan is jumping up and down yelling <laughs> children so there it is there it is there it is and I think I shared with you last time that this is my Erin Lane bag. Maybe I didn't, but um, I got this at the SSK that I went to, and it, it matches very well. So, happy, 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 happy. I don't know if I'll be done by next week. The sock knitting has definitely slowed down my sweater progress because I knit three skeins of mohair in three days and then set it aside waiting I was almost out. Anyways, you don't need all that story again, but I set it aside waiting for more of the solid to come. And so once it arrived, I was kind of like, I just want to knit these socks and get them out of the way. So there will be more done on that in the coming whatevers. All right, dream knitting. <laughs> My friend Jen of the Down Cellar Studios, she's your friend too. She hosts the yeah, Down Cellar Studios. She hosts the um, pigskin party and the splash pad party that I talk about often. She just released a new design, which is called Stay Out of the Forest, SSDGM. Don't get murdered for the murderinos. And I had to have it. The minute I think I was like within 10 minutes of it being published, I bought it. Because I want to support Jen, but also I love my favorite murder, the podcast. Um, it's funny. It's just funny. And I would like to have a hat that's that. But what I love most about this pattern, which having just done color work with the Garden Gate yoke, I did color work there. And then on that cowl, I'm doing color work. Jen offers the pattern with a dark background. Here's all your color work charts and a light background. Here are your charts. Can I tell you how wonderful that is? Unless I sit there and color with the colors of my yarn, I can get so confused, especially on that wave one. I'm doing the opposite of what my white is my contrast. And for her charts, the dark is the contrast. So I've caught myself like the wave section was really challenging for me to knit. So um, I really appreciate those charts. So if you are looking to do some accessory knitting, 
that's a good one. Uh, the second thing, I'm, I don't know if I shared this before or not, but I did buy the Heel Toe do -si -do by Crazy Sock Lady K, and I thought it would be a great pattern there's, um, for my Desert Vista Dye Works knitting every month because it's designed for self-striping. So uh, I'm going to give this a go next month, and I'm looking at it, and for her, the back of the leg is straight, even though the front is like the zigzaggies. So those will be fun. I'm looking forward to knitting those as well. Now that's new. What else? Next is additions. Oh, I went out of order. This is not really an addition. This is a Rhinebeck yarn that I went nuts looking for. Do you ever feel like there are fairies in your house that come and move your things? Seriously, I found this today just sitting on the bed, just sitting there. Like, how did I tear this room apart and not find it? I was going crazy looking for this thing. It's just sitting there. It happens to me like every other week that the week before I was crazy looking and then, oh, it's there again. So this is the tags inside. I wound it, I got it at Rhinebeck. Steve picked it out. It's an alpaca wool blend. It's for a hat for him. So now that I have found it, I can knit some sort of textured hat for him out of this because that was the color he wanted. So there's that. The other thing, I pre-opened but didn't look, you know. So Loopy U was doing, I think it was like a one day. Why did that light keep coming on? That's weird. Was doing a one day promo where um, Socks That Rock was like buy one, get one for a dollar. I want to say it was leap year. Yep. So my mail pile is just, I'll get to it when I get to it, when I want to work with it. So I've had this for a while. But so this is from the Loopy U Socks That Rock. I believe I went heavyweight. I went medium weight. Okay, so here are the two colors. So one at full price, one for a buck. It was crazy. So the this one is rags to riches. Look at that. That is perfect, spot on for color. Yay, maybe this is the direction to face to get the colors right. And this one is midnight mystery. So their yarn is so squishy and wonderful. It's 100% super wash merino, 405 yards for six ounces. Oh, because it's the medium weight, not the, not the light one. Mm. There were many years when this was like my main purchase at Ryback. Just lots and lots of socks that rock. So that's new. Yay! Okay, we did dream knitting craft alongs. Oh, I have something to tell you. Okay, just quickly. The I so meant to talk about this while I was going through my projects. Well, we'll just have to hold it in our heads. So my cowl accounts for the not so isolated cowl, cow, C-A-L, craft along, that um, I talked about over there. If you want more details, go watch that little three minute video. Otherwise, I am super excited that all my projects account for that. So my finished object, the Arctic socks, those count for the second option from Stash. And the cowl counts for a new pattern. So that counts in the first in, first out. And the love note is a new pattern, first in, first out. And what else am I working on? Desert Vista Dye Work socks, those count for Stash. So everything I'm knitting goes in there. And yes, I'm, ho I'm hosting, so I can't really win, but I want to participate because I love knit alongs. So that's exciting. The other knit along that I am taking part in is with the Bling Your String group over on Ravelry. And that's her crafty bingo. She does a lot of fun stuff over there on her show. So this year I set out 24 goals to finish by the end of the year. And so far I have finished six of them. Yay! Quarter one, six checked off. So I knit a Christmas gift. I knit something that was queued before 2020. I finished a frog five items. I knit a scrappy project. Those gnomes were awesome for that. Uh, I did all three of my Q1 DVD socks and I knit five washcloths. Check, done. And then there are seven other 
squares on my bingo card that I have in progress. So uh, Q2 DVD socks, those are going. I have three out of the goal of 20 skeins to knit 20 skeins that were purchased before 2020. 20 before 2020. So I've done three, but I've got several more on the needles. The hard part is that knitting socks, I don't finish off the skein. I knit like a little over half of the skein, but the um, mohair, that'll be a good one. I'll get like eight or nine out of that. I think I have eight. Anyways, I'll get a bunch out of that. So that's good. So there'll be more coming on that. And then I have used and unused yarn that I own a lot of. And I specifically called out one of the yarns in my Love Note sweater for that goal. Um, color work accessory was one. So clearly my cowl counts for that. And 25 hexes is for the Afghan is one of mine. I knit 21 and I haven't knit any more. So I will knit more, but... Um, that's on the go. And then I have knit three of 10 hats for the year. So that's my bingo progress. I got to knit seven more hats. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> so that's it for knitting content. Um, not a lot going on here. I bet there's not, I hope there's not a lot going on with you. That life's pretty quiet. We had the strangest Easter ever. Um, my parents came over and we did the little egg hunt in the yard and I think we all had to remind each other a dozen times each <laughs> like stay stay six feet away it was so hard but it was super nice to see them and I miss them a lot so um yeah but I would feel horrible horrible if we got corona and I gave it to my dad like I just I can't do that so and that's what I keep telling myself, keeping the older generation safe by staying inside and staying away. So that's what we're doing. Um, yesterday, the boys and I went for a ride down Route 1 in New Hampshire along the coast. I think it's 1A, whatever. It's it's a very scenic drive. Roland took some footage, so I might include it. You know all the beaches are closed and along that road there are dozens and dozens of little turn little spots on the side of the road where two cars can park three cars can park and then you walk down to the beaches because it's just coast all along there and there were cones and barriers and police cars everywhere like we counted 11 police cars in an hour and a half ride The boys ate while I drove, we listened to music, they played a little Pokemon on the phone. It was good just to get out in the sun and like, yeah. But you know, my little rule follower, every time I, I guess, I needed to use the phone for something. Look up an address, I don't even remember what I needed or maybe I needed to help Tristan with Pokemon. But I pulled over for a minute and Will was like, you can't park here, you can't park here. <laughs> it's like, I, it's okay to stop on the side of the road for two minutes really fun. <laughs>
so yeah and it's just getting warmer and warmer and spring is coming and I did a big purchase yesterday because I don't think we're gonna be out of this by the summer and we're not sending the boys to summer camp right so instead of doing all that I'm taking that budget line and doing some things for us to do around the house so we've talked about one of those little inflatable pools we might do that I'm not sure um, and we've talked about putting in a ninja course you know hanging stuff in the woods out back we've talked about building a little tree house something so they have more play space outside but to that end I thought about buying a basketball hoop and where did I find I went to Dick's saw that the lifetime brand was the what they sold right and then I was like okay let me see if I can get this brand cheaper so I went to Amazon and I went to Walmart and I could get it for two or three hundred dollars less like seriously don't buy things at Dick's but um, don't buy things at retail anyways <laughs> that's the retail uh, person in me go to outlets anyways okay so 150 bucks 160 bucks for a 44 inch adult size portable adjustable basketball hoop perfect eight to ten feet tall it's gonna last them from now through high school like I'm not buying another hoop this is it this is your hoop because we have a little um, play school hoop right now and they they're using it but it's ridiculous it's it's shorter than Roland or something so I'd like them to have a real hoop even though I suspect Roland will not neither of them will play basketball we're just not basketball people but it's good to go out and shoot around the ball and some of their friends are really into basketball so it's just a good activity so yeah 160 bucks 155 165 something like that I waited I talked to Steve he was like hemming and hawing he wasn't interested the next day I went in sold out and I could only get it for two hundred and thirty dollars <laughs> oh! so I ordered it I pulled because you know how it is everybody's having these same thoughts that's why we are out of toilet paper in the stores and out of whatever else bread and milk and flour and yeah so I want to get my basketball hoop first <laughs> So, because in the past we've gone over to the schools and shot around, shot hoops there, but who knows what what it's gonna be like. So we'll be able to do it here. Our tar driveway is not so great, but they they won't know any better, and we'll have it redone before they're in high school, I'm sure. So that was my big purchase. It hasn't arrived yet. It's a seven to ten days. So when it gets here, we'll be outside even more. So that's it for me. Oh God, there's so much. I'm so sorry for the background noise. <laughs> oh, can you also tell my face? I haven't mentioned it, but yeah, I am so stressed and not sleeping very well and not eating very well. And my face is like, you're 13 all over again. <laughs> so yeah, even on medication for my skin. So anyways, I'm trying to to give my skin some breathing room and say it's okay if you're upset <laughs> I'm upset too <laughs> all right that's enough for me oh money heist watch money heist on Netflix and what else have I been watching I mentioned Shira with the boys but of course we love Shira I think that's it that's all I'm gonna share okay have a great 10 days or so I will talk to you soon